I'm sure a lot of people were surprised that the Netflix adaptation of One Piece turned out to actually be pretty decent because normally there's that stereotype. There's the manga anime Netflix adaptation. It's all he's just kind of a joke that they're usually pretty bad. But it turned out that One Piece broke the trend on that one and was something decent because they were trying to stay faithful to the source material as much as possible. And even though it wasn't necessarily as good as the anime, it still was pretty faithful to the story as far as broad strokes go and then soon after the show premiered then they announced the second season of that which is when jamie lee curtis herself tried to lobby for an important role in the second season because she's a fan of one piece and she has been for years so she wanted to play the part of dr korea and this isn't just her saying stuff on social media apparently one of the showrunners was talking back and forth with her on social media and he seemed to be interested in having her in the role and we're getting some updates on that announcement, but first, just for people who don't know what was actually said, this article from Variety kind of goes into details. This is from last September when she was making her social media posts, and this is what was ultimately said. So she posted this photo on her own personal Instagram account, and then she has this caption to it. It says it right here in the article. The Oscar-winning actor shared an Instagram post to her desire to play Dr. Crea in Netflix's One Piece. Writing in the caption, once the strike against the greed of the AMPTP is settled with a fair contract, I will lobby along with the growing fan frenzy to become Dr. Correa. One Piece co-showrunner Matt Owens voiced his support for Curtis joining the live-action cast as the 141-year-old doctor. Mommy dearest, that's why we sent you that figure. No need to lobby, Owens commented on her post. Once we get what we deserve and get back to work, let's talk. And what he's talking about is a figure of Dr. Crea that they sent to Jamie Lee Curtis after she won her Oscar as a kind of a congratulatory sort of thing. But now we're getting some more updates on her potential casting for this. And right now it's no, she's not going to be in one piece after all. So there was some sincere talks between her and the showrunners of one piece about having her in the role, but it looks like things just did not work out in me personally, I do think this is ultimately good news for the show, but I can get more on that in a moment. But first, let's just look at what they're actually saying about this. With both sides showing interest, it had seemed all but certain that Jamie Lee Curtis would be playing a key role in second season of Netflix's One Piece. However, the fantasy casting was apparently not meant to be. It has now been confirmed that Curtis will not be part of season two of One Piece. After the success of season one, it had been teased by Curtis that she would be playing Dr. Craig in the live action adaptation of the popular manga. Now executive producer Beckley Clements has revealed in a new interview with Deadline that Curtis won't be joining the series after all. It all comes down to Curtis's packed schedule, which includes filming the Disney sequel Freaky Friday 2 as the reason the part needed to go to someone else. And in all honesty, I think this is probably a genuine thing because we have heard since then that uh, Freaky Friday has gone into productions and we've also heard that One Piece has started production for their second season. And since Freaky Friday is a Disney production, then they probably have it in her contract that she has to be available and stuff like that. So it just gets kind of complicated, not to mention there's probably other stuff that Jamie Lee Curtis has in the pipeline. But it does seem kind of strange that both the production side of it and the actor want to be in something and they just can't make it work, but it's also not unusual in Hollywood, but there are some people who are disappointed by this news because they would have liked to have a big star like her in it. I mean, that was something that they talked about even behind the scenes from one piece is after she got her Oscar, they were trying to actually bring her into the role itself. Uh, they even say that's why they sent her that figure. Curtis had hinted that she may be playing Dr. Craya. It created enough buzz with the fans for co-showrunner Matt Owens to confirm that Curtis was wanted to play the part in the show. Owens declared the casting to be perfect and shared how Curtis was invited to join the series following her Academy Award win. Uh, we have to try to get her Curtis on the show. What can we do? And Dr. Craya very luckily is a character who is coming up in our story and is someone who is perfect for Jamie Lee Curtis. Owens told Deadline. So we tried to start manifesting this dream of ours. After she won her Oscar, the writer's room sent her a figure of Dr. Crea with a nice note that said, congratulations on your statue. Here's another one to put next to it. Hope to speak to you soon. The reason why I think this is ultimately a good thing for the show is because, well, first and foremost, it would have probably cost them a lot more money to pay her versus paying anyone else. Even if she wanted to do it and was willing to take a pay cut, it probably still would have been quite a bit. And I think that money would have better been spent on something else, especially since this is a show that relies on a lot of visual effects. And I don't know what they're going to be doing with Chopper in the next season, uh, but I'm assuming that there's going to be a lot of visual effects involved that they're trying to actually bring Chopper into this because uh, there's talk about 
a lot of either extensive makeup effects on an actor or having a CGI character entirely, a kind of a akin to Pikachu and Detective Pikachu. So I can see them spending a lot of money on that. If, at least you would have to if you want to do it right. So I think instead of spending money on an actor, it's better suited for something like that. And also, this might just be my own personal issue, and I'm willing to admit that, but I really can't see her in the role. And I'm not saying she doesn't look the part or she doesn't understand the character because I know she's supposedly a fan of One Piece, as she's said that. And she said stuff in the past that, okay, I believe that. I don't know exactly her knowledge of it, but still, even if she is good for the part, as in she looks the part and she knows the character, uh, I would just have a tough time seeing Dr. Crea when watching the show. I prefer it when they're sticking to more unknown people or more less known people on a project like this, because if I'm watching it, especially if the person in real life is not necessarily how the character is on screen, well then there's that sort of disconnect where it just kind of takes me out of it as I'm watching it. Cause First and foremost, Dr. Crea is a medical doctor in the world of One Piece who stands against the world government. And when I see how Jamie Lee Curtis is, uh, she's not the type of person I would think who would be standing against the government, speaking out against the government. So there's always that sort of disconnect. And that might just be kind of a petty thing. And I understand that it's probably my own personal thing because a lot of people can see a lot of actors in roles. And there are many actors that don't necessarily strike you as fit in a particular role but they just kind of disappear within the part other ones though it kind of stands out and if that's the, how you're supposed to be casting them because some people are just kind of cast to play themselves essentially then it works other people kind of play against types and it might be strange at first and then you just kind of get absorbed into it and just kind of forget about it but other times though it just doesn't work out to me it would be like Danny DeVito if he's supposed to be playing a tough action type guy in a movie and it's not a comedy or whatever. They're trying to take it serious. Like he's a serious action person. Like uh, if Danny DeVito was cast in John wick instead, it just wouldn't be believable because he doesn't fit as an audience member who you would imagine in that role. And that's why it would just kind of ruin the whole experience or it wouldn't be as good as what it could be. So I think this is ultimately the better decision for the show. I said this back in September when I made a video talking about the potential of having her in the role. And I kind of stick with that, but Fortunately, though, I do think they have been pretty good with the first season of One Piece. And from who I've seen being cast in the second season, it's not necessarily completely unknown people, but they're less known. And I think it is going to actually work out. And I am looking forward to seeing what they do with the second season. But let me know what you think about this news in the comment section below. Did you really want Jimmy Lee Curtis to be in the part or do you think it's actually better this way? Comment below. And if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with the latest entertainment news. And don't forget to click that like button and share the video out there because it really helps out with the channel. Thank you.